couple of former smokers tout life-saving benefits of lung cancer screenings. We have their story coming up. Plus, in our health alert today, spreading the word about lung cancer screening. Some people consider lung cancer to be sort of a death sentence. But when it is caught early, the doctors say it can be treated. As Andrea Rohn reports, physicians want those in the high-risk categories to get screened early and often. And we don't see any new lung nodules or anything suspicious of your cancer coming back, which is really good news. And it's great news for Michael Baruti and his wife, Mary. He was diagnosed with lung cancer three years ago. It was stage 1B. The tumor was found in a CAT scan while he was in the hospital for flu-like symptoms. When Michael broke the news to Mary, he called the diagnosis another great adventure. So I went, took a shower, cried, came out, and I never believed that he was going to die from this. Michael and Mary were both longtime smokers, 38 years, but they quit at the same time 10 years ago. Not quite soon enough to head off my cancer. Michael had surgery, a lobectomy, to remove that portion of his lung that had the tumor. Then the attention shifted to Mary, who had smoked even more cigarettes than her husband of 46 years. Three. Both of us. Yeah. Three packs a day. He said, please go get a chest x-ray, and I did. The patients who are at highest risk for developing lung cancer are patients who are age 55 and older and who have at least a 30-pack year history of smoking, which is an equivalent of 30 years of smoking, one pack a day. Michael had a 40-pack year history of smoking, but Mary is more than double that. She had a 105-pack year history of smoking. Dr. Eric Anderson of MedStar Georgetown University Hospital says it's crucial to spread the word about lung cancer screenings. Find these patients who do not have any symptoms and have an early stage lung cancer. Those are the ones that are potentially curable with surgery. These nodules have not changed at all. Luckily for Mary, her CAT scan only found traces of emphysema. Mrs. Baruti is going to be recommended to have a CT scan yearly for the next two years. And Michael will have two more years of close observation before he's considered completely cured. I've been very fortunate that it was caught early, treated effectively, and the scans like the one today continue to show that it's clear. Andrea Rohn, WUSA 9. 160,000 people in the United States die every year from lung cancer, and that is more fatalities than from breast cancer, colon cancer, pancreatic cancer, and prostate can get cancer combined.